Hi everyone, my name is Kerim Zribi and I'm a flight instructor here with Flight Academy and today I'll be showing you how to prepare for a flight. First of all, we start by requesting the flight for the next day. So we go on our platform flyfa.com and we choose the base from which we'll be flying. So today we are in Prague and tomorrow we'll be in Prague. So the departure is going to be from our Prague base. So we, I put my email Kareem at flyingacademy.com. So I put my full name, Kareem Zribi, the date of tomorrow. The aircraft type is going to be a Cessna 172. In the comment section, you can select, for example, the name of an instructor or a name of a student. For me, I will check or I will select the time at which I would like to fly, let's say midday. And the purpose is going to be time building. So then we press on next and then we have to choose the distance which we're gonna be flying basically. So tomorrow we'll be flying more than 300 nautical miles. So I'll be selecting more than 300 nautical miles. We press on next. And then once we are sure that we have done everything, then we can just press on submit. That's it. That's all for the flight request and we'll be seeing you tomorrow for the flight preparation. So we just arrived at the flight school. The weather is perfect and now we'll be heading to the briefing room to start our flight preparation. Let's go. So here we are in the briefing room and we're going to start by checking which aircraft we are having for today. So we go on the Flying Academy website and today we'll be having Oscar Kilo Fox Alpha Echo which is a Cessna 172 retractable gear. So let's start by collecting the documents from the office in order to go through all the paperwork. Let's go. Can I please have Oscar Kilo Fox Alpha Echo, please? Thank you very much. So now, since we have all the documents, let's go to the briefing room to go through them one by one. Let's go. So here we are in the briefing room. We have the documents with us and we'll be going through them one by one to make sure that the plane is airworthy and ready to go. Let's have a look. Alright, so now we may proceed with the navigation log preparation. So we'll be departing from Lima, Lima Kilo, Lima Tango, straight to the south to Budjovice, and then more to the south to Pshibram, then to the east to Beneshov, which is from where we'll be intercepting the radial to Vlashim, VOR, and then we'll be going to the NDB in Cheslav, and then we'll be going home straight to Letniani. Prague. Flight time will be almost 1 hour and 13 minutes with a distance of 126 nautical miles. So now, since we have prepared our navlog, we have to make sure that the weather is nice for the route. So first, we start by checking the rain to make sure that there is no precipitation on the way. So as you can see, we have some precipitation coming from the west towards the east. So we might expect some light precipitation during our flight, but we most probably will be done with the flight before even the precipitation starts. So the rainfall is good. So the synoptic maps, actually we are having not really any fronts at the moment, so we're good. Then we'll proceed to check the airspaces to see whether or not we have any restriction during the flight. So we'll proceed over Prague and we see if in our route we have anything to take into consideration. All right, so now here we have the, all the airspaces which are active or restricted. So now we are here, so we are Letniani, we'll be proceeding to the south, to Pshibram, and then to Cheslav. So in here, we have actually an active area. So if we check it, we go on the right side, we, it's active from 300 feet above the ground 
to 1,000 feet above the ground. So since we'll be flying around 5,000 feet or 5,500, we won't be actually flying through this area, so we are clear from it. And then proceeding back to Prague directly, we won't encounter any active area. So we're good with in terms of air spaces. So then we can actually check if there is any bad weather in the surroundings. So we can actually check the METAR. So we have Cavoke here in Kibeli or in Prague. Uh, temperature is 18 degrees. We don't have any basically cloud or any special weather. And we should expect also acceptable weather throughout the route. So no problem with that. So now we proceed to the IPPC website on which we'll be printing the METARs and TAFs. So that's gonna be Lima Kilo. We have to check the name of the airports in the surroundings. So Kibeli is Lima Kilo, Kilo Bravo, which is the main airport next to us. Prague also, so Lima Kilo Papa Romeo. And maybe Brno as an alternate in case the weather becomes not really favorable to come back to Prague. So we will retrieve the briefing and afterwards we'll print it and we'll go through it one by one before the flight to make sure that the weather and the air spaces are within the limitations. So we've got everything and now we'll be printing it to go through it. So now since we are done with our navigation log it's time to go through the weather briefing. So Let's start with Prague. So since we'll be departing from Letniani in here, so the weather actually is kind of okay. However, we might expect some light showers with a wind gusting of 26 knots. In case the weather becomes unsuitable to come back to Prague, we might divert to Brno, which is basically the second biggest city in Czech Republic. The weather actually now is kind of okay. However, we might also expect some light shower rain in the vicinity of Brno. So these precipitations or clouds are not gonna affect the safety of the flight, so we are actually good to go. So now we are done basically with the pre-flight preparation. Documents have been checked, the weather is checked, and the navigation lock is done. So we're good to go. I'll be seeing you in the airport for the pre-flight check. See you. One last point before I leave you guys make sure to call always the airport where you're intending to refuel to make sure that there is no surprise upon landing in there just in case the airport doesn't have your specific type of fuel. Also, another point, make sure that you always do your weight and balance before departing for the flight. Even though it's a long and painful process to get it done, it's always for your safety and your comfort. And one last point, Pay close attention to your briefing with the instructor because good preparation on the ground will save a lot of time in the air. See you soon, aviators.